Speed kills and the Minnesota Fighting Vikings could use a little infusion of speed in the middle of their defense and they need to strongly consider actually no they need to unleash Vikings rookie linebacker Brian Osimo, a third round pick 6 to 6 overall out of Oklahoma now it's ironic because he is uh, of Ghana heritage so they're going to have to play him sooner rather than later i hate that pun i i really hate myself sometimes I can't help him. I can't help it, man. But uh, with uh, Brian Asamoah, I loved him in the draft. Uh, I was ecstatic when the Vikings got him in the third round. He's just an absolute heat-seeking missile. Yes, a little bit undersized, maybe a little bit of a tweener. Is he a small linebacker? Is he a big safety? Don't really matter. Do it does not matter. When he is on the field, good things happen. He runs a 4 5 6 40 and just has a fantastic nose for the football. And recapping his scouting report, uh, overview, see ball, get ball. Uh, this is from Lance Erland, by the way. Uh, with an itchy, twitchy trigger and explosive pursuit speed, Asamo is adequate at reading keys and diagnosing the action with quickness. His pursuit paths to the football are aggressive, but they're lacking in technique to maintain his gap integrity. Rude. Uh, his playing style is likely to have him around the football more often than not, but consistency is finishing tackles. Uh, could be an issue for him in the pros. He's athletic in pass coverage and could stand out on special teams, which he already has. Asamo is a 3-4 weak, weak side inside linebacker. A lot of eyes. Uh, or a 4-3 will uh, with the potential to find starting reps down the road. And it does need to be sooner rather than later because yeah, the Vikings tra transition to that 3-4. Of course, the middle is going to be uh, commanded by Eric Kendricks as well as Jordan Hicks at this point in time. But <sighs> we have to have some really awkward conversations. Right, so Eric Kendricks is still Eric Kendricks, but he's not Eric Kendricks anymore. He's still extremely good. He's not where he used to be, right? And being on the wrong side of 30, we may have to have some awkward conversations this offseason. Because, you know, Jordan Hicks, you respect, coming in from the Eagles and the Cardinals. Uh, he knows his defense like the back of his hand. He's a veteran. He's a pro's pro. Signed a one-year deal. Fully understand that. But next year, Hicks is probably going to leave in free agency. And Kendricks may be a cap casualty which is kind of odd, but, and also this year, I mean, even though Kendrick's still Kendrick's Jordan Hicks has had some nice moments, but oh, together they have combined 18 missed tackles. They have combined a 931 yards allowed in coverage. Hicks has allowed four touchdowns, including both of Tony Pollard's uh, wheel route scores in the Cowboys game. And also Hicks has a 128.8 quarterback rating with thrown at, which is not, which is not good. It's kind of less than ideal. So I, I'm not, coming out and just saying that Jordan Hicks should be benched. I'm not saying that. Also, I don't think that Don or Kevin O'Connell would do a veteran like Hicks dirty like that. But getting Asamoah more involved, especially when the Vikings do need some speed, they do need a spark on that defense, it makes a lot of sense. So working in some three linebacker sets, maybe some 3-3-5 three, three, look, where you got either Harrison Hand on the nose, you got Daniil and Zadarius at the ends, and then you got the Asamoah as well as Hicks and Kendricks on the field at the same time, and you're still a nickel with the five DBs. That, that would make sense in terms of having a NASCAR type package or you know Hicks run uh, on running downs and Asamoa on passing downs utilizing his speed and range and just energy and then also something that's been so frustrating this year at using Asamoa as a quarterback spy now respect Donatel did it to a degree a handful of snaps in the first Bears game but just seeing the way that running quarterbacks have carved up the Vikings look at Josh Allen look at the way that you know Dak had some nice runs in that well everyone had nice runs <laughs> in that Cowboys game. So uh, the Vikings, they're going to be facing some more mobile quarterbacks and having Asamo out there and tested, knowing his roles. Uh, hey, you're supposed to cover the middle of the field as well as if that quarterback takes off, you got him and make sure that he doesn't pick up the, the first down on third and long because that is the most demoralizing and backbreaking thing that happens. And and that's certainly what, what uh, you're going to get with mobile quarterbacks in today's NFL. But, I mean, Asamoah does need to be involved. They do need to work him in somehow, some way. Uh, because this is a guy who could be a starter next season. Like, absolutely. Like, if Kendrick's still around, it's going to be Kendrick's and Asamoah. If Kendrick's is a cap casualty, it's the Asamoah show with Troy Dye or rookie or free agent TBD, uh, that other inside linebacker spot if they don't bring back Hicks either. So, We'll see what happens, but speed kills, and the Vikings need more of it on defense. They need more energy. They need a spark, and yeah, I mean, uh, Asamo, he's a rookie. He's going to make mistakes, but the upside is certainly there, and we, we've said the Vikings do need to gamble. Like They do need to make chances, uh, do need to take chances uh, to make a big-time play, and Brian Asamoah is a big-time play just waiting to happen.
Absolutely, man. But your thoughts are thoughts. The Vikings need to unleash uh, rookie linebacker Brian Asamoah. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.